Another thunderstorm in Fort Kochi. Uh, 24th of April 2014. Um, it's about uh, quarter to five in the afternoon. Uh, Thursday. And uh, we have another thunderstorm moving over. Uh, Kochi and Kerala. Uh, it's been very hot in recent days. Uh, I measured up to 38 degrees centigrade, which is 100 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, in the sun on the street uh, a couple of days ago. Uh, it's just been very sweaty. Um, there hasn't been any uh, big thunderstorms for a few days, but now we have one. And things are getting a lot cooler now since the rain started. The rain is pouring down. Uh, the water evaporates really quickly because uh, the concrete and uh, the streets, they're all very hot. So the, the water, it either drains away very quickly or it, it soon evaporates. Although there's a lot of rain coming down. Um, in uh, recent years, uh, the locals tell me uh, that they think that the temperatures have been higher than previously. Um, okay, I've been coming here for the last 10 years almost, and I um, I haven't experienced the heat like I have in like the recent weeks here. It does seem to me hotter than previously. I I don't think I measured 38 degrees uh, before. Yeah. Okay, the reports in the press will say temperatures here are like 34 or maybe 35, but they're at the weather stations. Uh, so on the streets it can be higher than that in the sun. Um, right, so anyway, um, whether that's global warming or not, it's, uh, it's certainly indicative of local warming here in Kerala in southern India. I don't want to push the um, propaganda, if it is propaganda, on global warming, but I'm just saying how the local conditions are here. Um, anyway, warming temperatures would lead to more thunderstorms, more storm circulation, and it seems that that is what we're getting here in Kerala during this hot season. Anyway, I'll be glad to be out of here tomorrow morning um, on my way uh, out of India and I hope not to be having any diversions to Diego Garcia, President Obama. <laughs>